All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Vesey, the owner-operator of PC Cleric Computer Services in Central Florida. I uh, thought I'd give you a little tip on PowerPoint today. Um, I was at a client site just recently, and I noticed a user was developing a PowerPoint presentation, and he was just clicking a little too much. And whenever a user clicks a lot, it means either A, they really don't know how to use the software, or B, they don't know how to use the software efficiently. Now, I couldn't give you his uh, PowerPoint presentation because that would violate confidentiality with my client and such as that. But what I've done is I have made a mock-up of a presentation. And what this client had to do was he had to change the font size, the font type, the font color of the title on the title slide and all the headings on all of the other slides. So as you can see here we have uh, six slides. We have our title slide, we have four list slide, bullet list and stuff like that. And then we have just a comparison uh, slide right here. What I'm going to show you will work for any block of text, uh, but it's commonly done to titles because the titles in PowerPoint are a little bit boring uh, by default. So what he had to do was he had to select the, the, the text, he had to change the font type, we'll go with, uh, here we go, we'll go with Adobe Gothic Standard, all right. He had to change the size, let's say we want to crank it up a little bit let's go to 60 here go and then we want to change the color of it let's say we want to change the color to a blue color that color there right so he changed that one and then he went over to the next slide he had to select the text again he had to select the font that he wanted and things like that uh, recently used fonts is right here so that kinda helps um, what was the number again um, yeah 60 that's right and the blue color he wanted is the default color right here uh, so I can just click that but there's just like a lot of clicking uh, going on here and I really don't like that let me undo everything I just did let me show you a more efficient way to do this through format painter alright your format painter is located right up here on the home tab of your ribbon not a lot of people know how to use this so we're gonna look at how to use this what I have to do is I still have to select the text of the first thing I want to change and you can use this little guy that comes up here I'd rather use the ribbon myself because uh, it's not as um, everything's just not as tight uh, on the ribbon as it is on that little pop-up thing if I drop down my list I can select my font we'll still we're still gonna go with Adobe Gothic and I'm gonna change the size to 60 and I'm going to change the font color to that blue color that we had here. There we go. Now, I've changed it once. And the key theory here is you change it once and you use it multiple times. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select what I just changed. And I'm going to click on Format Painter. Okay. When I click on Format Painter, you notice how the background of the Format Painter is orange now? I can click on my next slide and my mouse pointer has a little paintbrush beside it now. Oops, there we go. Let me try this again. A little tricky at first when you're trying to talk and do it at the same time. Okay. Go. And boom, it changes it for me. Okay. And the only problem is that I have to turn the format painter on again to use it again. All right. Let me undo this one that I just did. I'm going to keep this one here. And what I want to show you is another feature of Format Painter is that you still have to select what you want to, um, you know, use. If I double click on Format Painter, Format Painter stays on until I turn it off. And the way I turn off Format Painter, whoops, there we go, is I just go up and I click on Format Painter. So it's like a light switch. Double click it to turn it on. Well, you don't have to double click a light switch, but you double click it to turn it on, 
and you click it to turn it off. Once I turn off Format Painter, I'm back to just my normal good old mouse pointer here. And this really saved me a whole lot of time. It saved me a whole bunch of mouse clicks and a whole bunch of remembering uh, what I did. So I didn't have to click here, select the text, and go to, you know, font type, font size, font color, and all that other junk, right? I just had to change it once, select it, turn on Format Painter, and then select what I want. So, let me get that off of there. Here we go. Let me select this again. And let's say that I want to change it to, um, no, not that color green, that's hideous. Uh, let's say red. Here we go. Alright, so it's still selected. I want to double click Format Painter to turn it on. And I'm going to change this. How easy is this? I mean, all you have to do is select the text that you want to change, and Format Painter changes it. And when I'm done using Format Painter, I just click on it again to turn it off. Alright, I really thought um, somebody would be able to use this uh, tip because people are always changing things in PowerPoint and it's kind of a pain to change a PowerPoint slide that's uh, six slides, uh, much less something like 30 or 50 slides. So enjoy. Again, my name is Adam Vesey with PC Clear Computer Services uh, in Central Florida. Have a great day and use this. This is easy to use.